Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakach Wadash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. That's what these lessons are for. All right, brothers, and those of you sisters that watch the shows, I'm here on a uh, a page called uh, Black Enterprise, the number one black digital media band, and um, this article here is all about judgment, okay? Titled, Five Students of Minneapolis's Muslim Community Pronounced Dead in Fatal Car Crash, all right? Now, the Heavenly Father a lot of times uses them, them cars, you know, which are the modern day chariots to dish that judgment out. You know, people could die People could, you know, be wounded severely to where they are, they become quadriplegics. As a matter of fact, you know, my, my woman, she actually uh, used to take care of this, um, this guy that got into a, a real bad car accident that put him in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Okay, so let me read. It says, the Muslim community in Minneapolis is mourning the lives of five women killed in a fatal car crash on June 16th, U.S. Today reports. So it was five women, okay? Now, those could have been five fine-ass women. You see what I'm saying? Fine, super bad-ass women. Guess what? The Most High don't give a damn about that, okay? The most high don't give a shit about if if a, a, a woman is a beautiful woman or something like that, man. Okay? Yeah. They were wicked as hell. That's why that judgment came down. And I'm going to go into the scriptures and show you at other times when the Heavenly Father used, you know, uh, uh, another example of the Heavenly Father jacking somebody up in a chariot. Uh, it says the women, uh, Salma, Muhammad, Abdik, Abdikadar, uh, Shara, uh, Laban, uh, man, these goddamn, these goddamn Muslim names, man, you don't even know how to pronounce it, man, okay, Muhammad Ali, it says, <laughs> we were all under the, it says, we're all under the age of 21, now, you notice when a woman is in her her, uh, her, her uh, prime, man, her prime years, man, her latter teen years, going into her early 20s, okay, that's a woman's prime, it says, and were pronounced dead at the car crash scene after a driver ran the red light and slammed into their vehicle, the driver was identified as Derek Thompson, who was seen speeding on the Interstate 35 by a Minnesota State Patrol trooper who wasn't able to give him a ticket in time. So he exited the highway. Quote, the vehicle then proceeded through a red light at the intersection of Lake C, Salakia Lake Street, and 2nd Avenue and crashed into another vehicle equipped uh, by four, I'm sorry, occupied by four uh, adult females and one juvenile female the Minneapolis Police Department said okay now my mouse is acting up but that's alright ain't nothing but Satan there ain't nothing but Satan it says the women uh, the women were enjoying a night out before celebrating a wedding. Oh, so they were enjoying a night out. So you know what that sounds like? That sounds like a bachelorette party. All right? And you know what kind of wickedness goes on at a bachelorette party. They get them dudes down with the dancing bear and, and, they, and they go up in there doing all manners of wickedness before they give a broad away. These broads do all kind of vile, nasty shit and then go 
and, and get with the guy they, they so-called want to spend the rest of their lives with. Okay? That's why the Most High brought that fucking judgment down on their asses, man. That was judgment, man. It says, the women were enjoying a night out before celebrating a wedding planned for the next day. So that's a bachelorette party. It says, they all had promising futures. Yeah, sure they did. Ali had just graduated from high school and planned to attend the University of Minnesota. It says, where Abhoa was already a student, Abdekard attended uh, no Normandale College and Gesedi was poised to being a junior year beginning her junior year at the University of Minnesota at uh, Rochester. It says, Hersey was a student attending Minneapolis College, according to the CBS uh, News, Minnesota. And guess what? Some people will say, oh, their lives were cut short. Nah, they were wicked as hell. And that's why the Heavenly Father brought that judgment down on them, man. All right? Now, let me read this scripture real quick. This is Zephaniah 3 and 5. And it reads, The just Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, is in the midst thereof. Right, because why? Because the Lord is omnipotent. So he's everywhere. Okay? You can't hide from the Heavenly Father. Okay? The scriptures say the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. People are mourning these these broads saying, oh, you know, they they had promising futures. Why did this happen? So on and so forth. They're not considering what they've done to offend the Heavenly Father. The sins that they have racked up in the eyes of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? To, to piss him off. And he brought that judgment down. Oh, what they could have done in their past lives that the Heavenly Father brought that judgment down. Hey, because the scriptures say... All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Okay? So these women that we got, shit, we can't save these broads. 3-6 Mafia had a song years ago, and they hit it on the head. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. These broads, they don't want, they're they not desiring salvation. Scriptures say, she that liveth in pleasures is dead while she liveth. And all these broads are about is recreational shit, having a good time, okay? Girls just want to have fun. And guess what? The fun that they want to have is committing fucking adultery, okay? And doing things that are not pleasing in the eyes of the Most High. And that's why judgment came down on these broads, man. All right. So continuing on, it reads, every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. And guess what? You see this right here? This was judgment. Okay. This was judgment. They riding around in that vehicle. They popping shit. They, you know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. And all of a sudden, boom. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It says he faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. And that's a woman. Okay? A woman don't know no goddamn shame. Alright? So now uh we're gonna go into the scriptures, man, because you see these are ancient chariots with horses, so on and so forth, and now Obviously, cars have been advanced. These are the modern day chariots. That's why you have something known as horsepower up under these bad boys. And you get real fancy, you know, the Lamborghinis and, you know, Corvettes and things like that. These different sports cars, Mustangs, you know, and of course your average, your average cars, entry level luxury cars like the Acuras and so on and so forth. You start getting into some real horsepower and, you know, expense. But that's just to prove a point that, you know, these are the modern day chariots, man. 
okay? And the Heavenly Father oftentimes uses them as a means to bring down judgment on uh, uh, the wicked. Now, this is an example of the Heavenly Father using uh, a chariot to bring down judgment on a uh, on a person. This is uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 9. I started one. It says, About that time came Antiochus with dishonor. So this is Antiochus Epiphanes. Okay, Antiochus, that wicked root. Okay. It says, uh, About that time came Antiochus with dishonor, which Antiochus was out of the line of um, this guy. Um, not Ptolemy, um, Seleucid, okay? You know what I'm saying? So it says, about that time came Antiochus with dishonor out of the country of Persia, for he had entered the city called Persepolis and went about to rob the temple and to hold the city, whereupon the multitude running to defend themselves with their weapons put them to flight and so it happened that Antiochus being put to flight of the inhabitants returned with shame scripture just told you scripture just told you right there that the uh, but the unjust knoweth no shame okay so this dude Antiochus man typical Edomite stuff man alright trying to rob a temple trying to hold up the city okay it says, now when, but he got put to flight this time. It says, now when he came to Ecbatan, news was brought him that, so like, and news was brought him what had happened unto Nicanor and Timotheus. Then swelling with anger, he taught to avenge upon the Jews the disgrace done unto him by those that made him flee. Therefore commanded he his chariot man his driver his chauffeur okay that's what you would call him in modern day a chauffeur who's a famous chauffeur that dude wax 100 wax 100 used to be the chauffeur for uh suge knight death row all right so he was a chauffeur this guy the chariot man to drive without ceasing don't stop keep going and to dispatch the journey in other words get there quickly so they were driving uh driving this is what chariots look like back then they were moving you know at a a a, a, a swift and a, a fast paced you could only you know what i'm saying guess how many horses were on that chariot man but they were definitely moving Okay, it says, um, the judgment of the Most High now following him. Okay, so the judgment of the Most High was getting ready to come down on his ass in that chariot, just like it came down upon these wicked ass bitches, man. Okay, you don't know what day is your day. Especially if you a wicked motherfucker, man. You should be, man. Man, that's why I don't pay to be wicked, man. Because the most high, all of a sudden, you know, them bitches, they, they was just thinking about going to the wedding tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? They was thinking about all the wickedness they did last night. You know what I'm saying? They thinking about Allah. What the fuck was Allah? Was Allah taking a shit? What were Allah was doing? They was Muslims. Where the fuck was Allah? Okay. Exactly, because there is no Allah. The only Allah was the word Allah is from the Hebrew, and it means power or God is Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. That's the only power, man. That's the only Allah, the Most High and His Son. Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, which is so called black men. Okay? Not a fucking rock in the middle of nowhere. Okay? You calling yourself, uh, uh, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go to Mecca. 
That's why that nigga Malcolm ain't, ain't make it, man. Wasn't nothing prolific about Malcolm. Mosai be using these chariots to bring judgment down on niggas. On people in general. As a matter of fact, years ago the apostles had brought out a story to where there was one dude in the school. He was selling all kind of drugs, so on and so forth. And he got into a horrific car accident to where he actually ejected out of the car. Went through the windscreen, you know, the windshield, all right, and skid his whole face on the pavement, okay, because he was doing that wickedness, man. You don't be doing that bullshit, man, in this truth, man. You don't be doing it outside the truth, man. Why you think drug dealers, all, they, all that ends up happening to them is they end up going to jail or they end up dead. Very seldom you find a drug dealer that they really repented and turned his life around and stopped doing the shit, you know, and get out the game. It's either dead or imprisonment, man. So let's go back to this 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 bastard, Antiochus, this wicked bastard, this wicked root. All right, Antiochus. It says the judgment of the Most High now following him, for he had spoken proudly in this sort, that he would come to Jerusalem and make it a common burying place of the Jews. Most I didn't like that. It says, but the Lord Almighty, the power of Israel, smote him with an incurable and irreverse, ir, uh, invisible plague. Pardon me. No, ir, inversible plague. All right? That's invisible. It says, or as soon... As he had spoken these words, a pain of his bowels that was remediless came upon him, and sore torments of the inner parts. So I don't know if that was a cancer. You know, I don't know I don't know what that was, but I know that the most high fucked him up. Alright? And that most justly. For he had tormented other men's bowels with many and strange torments. So he was torturing people. He was doing all kind of shit to people, man. All right? Because he was in a position of king. But that don't mean you're supposed to be wicked as hell. And then the Most High brought some hell on his ass, man. Gave him an incurable disease, man, of the, uh, of the bowels. It says, how be it, he nothing at all ceased from his bragging. So he his, his here it is his gut is hurting him, but he's still talking shit. But still was filled with pride, breathing out fire in his rage against the Jews, against you so-called Negroes, you so-called Native uh, Salaki, you so-called Negroes, you so-called West Indians, and you so-called Haitians. All right, because this was the Southern Kingdom. Uh, and commanding to haste the journey, but it came to pass. That he fell down from his chariot, carried violently, so that having a sore fall, all the members of his body were much pained. So he actually fell out the chariot, similar to what happened to these people. All right? You know they were all over the goddamn place, man. He actually fell out the chariot, and he was carried violently. So imagine, you know, you 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 going at a hundred miles per hour, and all of a sudden, you get ejected out of the car. You going roll and tumble and hit shit and and break stuff and and rip your body up. You know what I'm saying? So you could just put that. You know what I'm saying? Into your mind. This is what happened to this bastard. All right? That's why it says, But well, it came to pass that he fell down out from his chariot, carried violently, so that having a sore fall, all the members of his body were much pained. And thus, he that a little afore thought he might command the waves of the sea, so proud was he beyond the condition of man and weight 
the high mountains in a balance was now cast on the ground and carried in a a horse litter showing forth unto all the manifest power of the most high that's right man that's talking about karma as it tells you in Galatians 6 and 7, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And this is what that man sowed, man. It says, So that the worms rose up out of the body of this wicked man. And whilst he lived in sorrow and pain, his flesh fell away. And the filthiness of his smell was noisome to all his army. So this guy, he was, he was repulsive to be around. You know. It says, and the man that taught a little afore, he could reach to the stars of heaven. You know, no man could endure to carry, for his intolerable stink. So the heavenly Father really. Fuck this dude up, man. Here, therefore, being plagued, he began to leave off his great pride and to come to the knowledge of himself by the uh, scourge of the Most High, his pain increasing every moment. So the Most High was really fucking that dude up, man. The Most High was really terrorizing that bastard, man. Okay? And guess what? Hmm. <laughs> Antiochus, the Epiphanes is back here somewhere and he going to pay for everything that he did, you know, when he goes back into slavery. When he goes back, when he goes into slavery, I should say, under the Jews, which is the prophecy that's near to come. All right. Hey, so this has been an example on how the Heavenly Father uses these chariots oftentimes, man, to, 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 you know, Bring judgment down on people, man. You know? Huh. But be careful out there. This is the Hebrew word for uh, chariot. Marachab. Marachab. And it says chariot. Also a modern day car. You know? Down here in the lexicon. Uh, it says, especially a war chariot. A chariot. You know, so now you know. A lot of times the Heavenly Father uses those cars or uh, uh, the chariots as instruments of judgment. Okay, so the next time you see a dreadful car accident, you remember Zephaniah 3 and 5. You know, the Heavenly Father bringeth his, bringeth his judgment to light. He failed not. You know, and he does not do iniquity, man. Let me leave you with this one scripture. Uh, it's in Job. There we go. This is Job chapter 9, verse 23. If the scourge slays suddenly. Now, all of a sudden, you know, that car crashed into them. That's the scourge slaying suddenly. You know, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, that came down. If the scourge slays suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent. Yeah, because people up there saying, oh, what these girls do to deserve this? They were innocent. They were they were on their way to college and so on. They had their whole lives ahead of them. Guess what? Why did the Most High say he going to laugh at the trial of the innocent? Because you don't know what that person did to offend the Heavenly Father to where the Lord got to bring such a judgment down upon him, man. Man, that was judgment, man. Okay? And more judgment is going to come. Okay? You keep your eyes peeled on the news, I guarantee you there's going to be more judgments, you know, in uh, vehicles. Okay? Giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Nakakwa Dash, Abaratazah, this lesson was edifying. Shalom to the elect.